Okay, here we are at the Crooked House Thursday after work. Get a sense of what it looks like. Check this out. Check out the straightness of this back wall. Can you see that? Deflected out of straight by about, oh, I don't know, six to nine inches. How about this? Over here. Shoring contractor. He was supposed to catch both of these beams on the crib. He only put the crib under one beam. Not good. This is a glue lamb. Some knucklehead put it in with a splice. It sits on the crib, but there's a splice in the middle of it. Not good. Original beam from the house with this crazy brackety contraption here. Completely missed the crib under that. It's dangling. The only thing holding this beam up is this 2x4 and this piece of plywood that I wrote kill, in other words, to remove it. But it turns out there's four nails in the bottom of it, and that's the only thing holding the beam up. If we go to the front, climbing up out of here, we go to the other end of this beam. Not good. This is what the main floor joists splice over. That's something we got to fix. How about this? We were wondering why these walls were so weird and out of plumb, particularly this one, with the giant crack up at the window. What we find on this wall is if we come down here and look underneath it, there is a massive gap between the stucco and the original rim. So in other words, there's nine inches of void all the way up to this wall, tapering down to not nine inches on this side, zero over there, nine on there, and the stucco just floats with a massive space. And they had this situation over here and what they did, they just added these studs, furring strips, on the outside of this plane to support this new stucco. Not good. All this is coming out. And we're probably just going to have to live with those. But the reality is, in a normal house, the foundation is under this outside plane. In this house, the foundation's all the way over here. Okay, what else? Here's the drainage we put in, temporary drainage. Uh, I don't know. Gives you the idea. Here's our bad undercut. This is where the trucks can't go anymore. Here's our back wall. That's the... Uh, 360. Oh, here's the killer view. Berkeley, Oakland, the Bay. There's the crazy house. The other crazy house. Here, we'll do one last pass. Oh, we took this beam out right in this space right here right in there, and all the way down, 6 by 14. I made a note of that in the photos. That's gone. And the fireplace frame in here, that's gone. Nice wiring. Good. Let me stick my tape measure in there. And the one good thing is that if you look at the rest of the neighborhood, it's actually pretty sweet up here. another view of the bay and the crazy house. I might rather live in there. Alrighty. There you have it. Nice gutter work by me. Maybe I'll leave that. It's pretty sweet. That house is cool. Alright. Later.